How's it going guys, it's Yuridu here and today I'm bringing you my fifth episode of my Let's Play HUD series. As you can see, we are right now going through the lineup for the team. Not any major changes as of yet. We've pretty much been rolling with the same team as the previous episode. So, anyways, we go into a game here. The guys got Chicago Blackhawks classic jerseys. And right away you can see Hemsky goes down and he is hurt with about two minutes into the first period. There's a nice pass. Solani makes a move and he snipes it to make it one nothing. Moment after, Verbata misses the net. But he gets the pass from Weiss and he puts it in to make it two to nothing. Here's a nice move by Steen. He goes to Weiss and Weiss over to Solani. And that would make it three nothing. He ends up getting a lucky bounce. Pass Lynn back to make it three one. And the last one, Ali Steen puts it away to make it 4 1. We get a 1400 two pucks from that 4 to 1 win. And with that, with the pucks that I have, I decided, you know what? I'm tired of playing on international ice. We're going to play on the smaller North American ice. And I buy a medium North American arena for 300 by now. We end up playing St. Louis logo in St. Louis jersey. Holy jump, and I think was his PSN. And to start off. He ends up sniping it past Lindback. Lindback with the screen right there. Take a look at that pass by Solani. Little's gone, and he makes it one to one. And then this game ended up going to OT. Nice cycle there, and then Vishnovsky finds himself open, and he puts it away, and we win that game two to one. So 1,024 EA pucks from that game. A two one win. So we're two and zero so far this this episode. And take a look at that pass right there. And he's off nice move. He feeds to Salius, and he's going to put it away to make one nothing. Nice dumb play in here. Picks up the puck, and Little puts it in. A deflection. Got lucky, but we'll take it. And then take a look at this passing play between Kasitsin and Weiss. Look at that. Kasitsin puts it in. We win that game three nothing. Domination there, and I decided, you know what? It's time to improve our team. We end up picking up Grabner, 93 speed for 2,000 EA pucks. By now, then James Neal for 700. By now, he's got a wicked shot, and he's got pretty good defensive stats and checking, so that's going to help our team a lot. And finally, we buy decide to buy Ryan Whitney. He's got pretty good defensive stats and pretty good offensive stats, so he's going to help out our team greatly. 1,250 EA pucks. We end up going against this game. I'm going to going into this game against LA jerseys. And this game was really, really close to the third period. He ends up scoring Jason Pommelville with that goal. And then Boyle makes it 2 nothing, and that's how the game would end. So, first loss of this episode, we're 3-1 and one so far. But we go, up into, we go into a game against Habs, Logo, and jerseys. Grabner's speed shows up there. He feeds Steen and he makes a one nothing. Then nice pass and play between Whitney, Girardi, and Solani. Whitney puts it away. He makes a two nothing. Take a look, Stepan. I mean, call that a glitch all you want, but he kept on doing it the whole game, so I'm gonna keep doing it as well. And now what a pass! Take a look at that. Campbell robs Solani, but he gives it right to Neil and makes it four nothing. And what do you know, right after the face-off, we got ourselves another Rage Quit. Yes, we do, and it's another Habs logo for the Rage Quit. And the next game was another Habs logo player. We end, we end up having a 5-on-3, and Little puts it away on the rebound. And then, I don't know where, he gets the goal to tie it up 1-1 in the third period. We went to a shootout, he missed his first shot. Steen put it away. He also missed a second, and then Little snipes it, and we end up winning that game in a shootout, two to one. So next up, we're against Too Easy, and this wasn't really an easy game for any of us. But to start off in the second period, and Ismail finds himself with the room, and he snipes the top corner. He ends up getting a five on three power play with five minutes left in the third. He ends up scoring right away, and he still had a power play, but then take a look at this. Girardi, nice clapper, and then look at this play by Anisimov. What a deke to get around him. He puts it away, and right after that, take a look at this. Rage quit. Yep, I wouldn't, I would rage, I wouldn't rage quit, but that's a good reason to rage quit. You know, having a 5-on-3 and end up giving up two short-handed goals to lose the game. 
And this is going to be the last game of the episode. Gilbert ends up scoring the first goal to make it 1-0. Then here's a nice, I don't know how that went in, but Little gets the goal to make it 2-0. And then in the third period, he gets a lucky goal. But that's all that he would get because this game would finish 2-1. So anyways, we finish 7-1 in this episode. Pretty, pretty good play for me. I feel, I'm starting to feel confident with the team. A couple more purchases, and I'll be even more confident. 1,250 EA pucks from that game. And so that'll be the end of this episode number 5. Our team record is 19-3-2, and, and we have 3,996 EA pucks in the bank. If you have anyone you want me to purchase, specifically around 5K, let me know write it down in the comments below so as we took a take a look at our team leaders Solani is leading our team in points and goals points with 17 goals with 12 and Gardner leads our team in assists with 12 so that's going to be the end of the episode please leave a like please leave a comment please subscribe and I hope you have a great day thanks